I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get started with uh, LabVIEW and your Arduino board using the uh, LabVIEW for interface LabVIEW interface for Arduino library. What we're gonna do is make a LabVIEW program that will turn on the LED on your Arduino board. If you notice, uh, there's an LED connected to pin 13 with the uh, letter L next to it and that is actually a built-in LED that you can control with an Arduino program or in this case we're going to be controlling it with a LabVIEW program so once you have your Arduino software and your LabVIEW software installed to install the uh, Arduino library from LabVIEW you want to go ahead and download the VI package manager and I'm going to post the link where you can download that package so I have it here and when you open that website just click on this uh, download icon and once you have finished downloading and installed your uh, and installing your uh, package manager go ahead and open it and when you do you're gonna be greeted with this uh, VI package manager window go ahead and select your LabVIEW installation if you have more than one in your search box go ahead and type Arduino double click the LabVIEW interface for Arduino and this next window is gonna and it will give you the option to install the uh, library now my option is uninstalled I already have it installed so once you install the library go ahead and close this program and now go ahead and open your Arduino program and then you're gonna go ahead and navigate to your LabVIEW installation folder and inside of your LabVIEW installation folder go to your go to a VI Live folder then LabVIEW interface for Arduino firmware LVI FA base folder go ahead and open it and then open this file and several more files are gonna open notice that your uh, LabVIEW interface.h file as a set of uh, constants defined for your Arduino connection my Arduino is a mega so my baud rate is gonna be 9600 if you have uh, any other if you have any other Arduino that is not the mega or the 128 then your connection will be this number here for your baud rate so I'm gonna go to my base file and this is the file that you want to upload to your Arduino after you have set up the port and the board so once you have set that up make sure you upload it to your board and once it finishes uploading to your Arduino board you can go ahead and close the Arduino program and actually make sure that you close it or else the connection for this program will be interfering with the connection from LabVIEW so you gotta close your Arduino software now we're gonna go to the uh, LabVIEW side of things so go ahead and open your LabVIEW program and go ahead and open a blank file now if you're new to uh, LabVIEW you're gonna have two different windows this window with the gray area is the uh, interface window where all the uh, buttons and all other you know just basically your user interface goes and this blank area is where your program is going to go so go to your blank area go to right click search and inside the search box type Arduino and press enter go ahead and open this folder so we're gonna need an init block and also a closed block we're also going to need a while loop and 
go ahead and close this window for now so this is where I initialize all my Arduino parameters and this is where I close my connection once the program has finished working so if you notice we have several inputs and two outputs go ahead and click and uh, make sure that you have your cursor on visa resource right click create constant from the options menu select the port where your Arduino is connected to mine is connected to port 5 do the same for your baud rate my connection is 9600 my board type is a mega and my connection type notice that uh, you have several options you have USB SIGB or Blue Smurf I'm using a USB connection with my cable so I'm gonna leave it at what it is and that's all you need for this side of the program go ahead and inside the block or actually you can do it anywhere just right click search once again search for Arduino and we're gonna get a by going to low level we're gonna get a digital write now before we do that of course just like in a regular Arduino program we have to set the mode for the pin now remember that I want to turn on and off the LED connected to pin 13 so what you want to do first is connect your uh, the output of your uh, init block to the uh, input of your pin mode block so from Arduino resource the pink uh, output to the pink input of this block do the same thing for the error out to the error in and just connect the blocks in series just like this and also to the uh, close block So the pin mode, uh, if you notice we have two inputs, digital I.O. pin and the uh, pin mode, right click, create, you can create a control, if you notice uh, when I created my control, I had this number input appeared on my interface side, like I said my pin is pin 13. my pin mode you, you can create a constant or a control my pin mode is going to be an output since I have an LED connected to that pin and now for my digital write my pin is the same as the uh, as the pin for this block so I'm just connecting this input to the output of this block since both pins are the same for both blocks and my value 0 or 1 high or low and I'm gonna do something more fun I'm gonna create a, a button that looks like an LED and it's actually called LED so if I go to my interface right click go to LEDs if you don't have this option search for it just go to search LEDs and I'm gonna get a round LED and place it here and I'm gonna change the size so notice that this other block appeared now the problem that I have here is that the input type for this block is value and for this one is boolean also notice that uh, this one 
is an input, not an output. I want to change it to an output so that I can connect it to the input of this block. So right click, change to control. Now that it's flipped, I can connect the output of this to value, but like I said, the types are different. So if I connect them, I get a connection error. What I have to do is convert from boolean to value. So if you right click search boolean. So this is what I'm looking for from boolean to zero one conversion. So I'm going to drag this block over to here and connect the output of my boolean to the input of that converter and the output of that converter to the input of the block and now I'm ready to go ahead and run my LabVIEW program so this is what it looks like and uh, LabVIEW can automatically clean the program for you if you just click on this icon it will simplify it and just arrange the components a lot nicer so this is my interface, I'm going to go ahead and run it and you got to give it a minute now, notice that I can now control the LED if I click on it, uh, the LED on my Arduino board is going to turn on when this is uh, you know, really light green, if it's a dark green that's off and notice that my LED turns off also on my Arduino board. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching.